What is up Minecraft world, it is Echoex Soldier here and welcome to a Minecraft Xbox 360 edition How to Defeat the Ender Dragon on Hard Survival. Now I did this tutorial for the people who only play Xbox 360 Minecraft and have never seen the Ender Dragon before. Now I placed a chest here, in the chest I have many items, I do recommend you having the same items as me so if you could possibly pause the video, I recommend doing that. Now you notice I have a bow, the bow is enchanted to infinity. Infinity means that if you, even if you have one arrow, until the, the bow breaks, you will have unlimited arrows, so it's possibly the best thing you could have when defeating the Ender Dragon. Now I've also placed a lot of armor. Like I said, it's key. It's all enchanted. I have food. I have Eye of Enders. They are important for locating your strongholds and finding the End Portal. I've also placed cobblestone and along with a pickaxe. Now I'll explain why you need them when it comes to it. While I sort my inventory out, guys, you should pause the video. The whole reason why I would recommend pausing the video is because you are going to definitely need these items and possibly more. Now a lot, I know a lot of people ha might have their own ways. This is my own tutorial. Now let's move on. You'll see now that I am firing the Eye of the Enders into the air. The Eye of the Enders are how you locate your strongholds and pretty much how you find your Empol. Now you might be limited to how many you have so I do recommend being patient. You might have to recollect them and then re-aim them in the air. But simply as I have enough I am simply aiming them and firing them in the air. Now you'll notice that they are all going in one direction. This means that they are finding the strongholds and then most importantly the end portal. It'll come to a point after you've fired enough that you will locate your stronghold. They will all sit in one place. This means directly below you, so you might possibly need a shovel, will be the stronghold and then most importantly the end portal. Now as you can see here they are all stuck in one location. This means directly below, as you can see I've already built it, will be the end portal. Now as you can see this is the end portal. I have pretty much done a tutorial on how to do this before, but basically you want to place all your eye of enders, there are 12, you need 12, so like I said, you might be limited, so do be patient, you might see yourself going to the nether and having to get more blaze rods. But as you can see, the end portal is complete, you jump into it and then let's get to the next part. Now you'll notice that you will need to resurface, now this is why you need a pickaxe. You'll have to break through the blocks and resurface, now you'll know you're getting closer because you'll start to hear the ender dragon and you'll start to hear endermen getting very, very closer. Now it'll come to a point when you resurface, so I do recommend being patient because it might take you a little while. Now after resurfacing you'll notice that there are many podiums, the many podiums have crystals. The crystals are what charge the actual ender dragon as you can see if I hit the ender dragon now his health will regenerate. So before trying to attempt to kill the ender dragon you must destroy all crystals on top of the podiums. In total there are 6 without iron bars and 2 with iron bars. This is a new addition to Xbox 360 Minecraft. Now after destroying all of them you'll notice that 2 of them do still need to be destroyed which will which is the whole reason why I have the cobblestone. Now, I'm just destroying the last one, which I did not need to do. I just did this to show you how this works. But basically, this is the whole reason why I, I had cobblestone. You do not need to have cobblestone. You can use whatever you want. You can use such as ladders. But I just use cobblestone because it's an easy mater material to gather. And as you can see there, you'll notice that two of them are protected by iron bars. This is a special feature to the Xbox 360 Minecraft. I'm still aiming at the Ender Dragon, but as you can see, the crystals are still generating his health. So until I destroy the two ones, the two iron barred crystal podiums, there is no point in wasting any time at trying to kill the ender dragon. Now as you can see here, I'm just regenerating the um, cobblestone because it is important. Now when you are doing this, be careful because the ender dragon will fire, fire charges at you and along with other stuff. So do be patient, he will attack you and I do recommend when you're doing it, try and get behind the podiums or try and stay as far away from the ender dragon as possible. Now, I'm building up to the iron bars. The iron bars are protected, are protecting the actual crystal. So it makes it a lot harder. And like I said, this is a hard tutorial. So you could see yourself, as you can see, he actually fired a <laughs> one of his weapons at me. So you do have to be careful. I fell off many times previously on PC. But all you do is destroy it. Like I said, this is another reason why you need a pickaxe. It will destroy. And you'll notice that I have only one left. Now, I'm aiming at now just to show you that you cannot penetrate it even with infinity or any other bow. So you must be careful when you are a pretty much attacking the actual iron bars or you are pretty much defending yourself because like I said, without the armor, without the bow, without the sword that I am using, you will really struggle, which is the whole reason why I created the chest. Now be sure to go to the start of the video if you are struggling. The start of the video will help you because in the chest are the many things that you will need. Now, on the other hand, you really do try not attempt to uh, hit the Enderman. Hitting the Enderman will cause them to distract you from doing your duties on killing the Ender Dragon. What I mean by that is they will keep poking you in the face, they will keep hitting you with their, their hands, which will distract you and which will take your health away, which may, will make things a lot harder. Now, I only have one more crystal to destroy. 
it will take it does take you a good time to do it so you must be patient i recommend going in with friends if you are not if you have many friends and you can pretty much destroy the ender dragon with your friends i do recommend doing that it is a lot harder on your on your own and once you've done it the first time you'll notice that it gets easier and easier you'll find different ways on how to destroy him but i'm just building my way up with the last of my cobblestone to show you that once I have destroyed the crystals, you'll notice that the Ender Dragon's health will go down slightly. But this is the way you'll need the bows, and this is where Infinity, the bow Infinity um, enchantment comes in. You'll notice that once I start aiming my arrows towards the Ender Dragon, you'll notice the top bar, his health is going down. Now keep doing this rapidly, you'll notice that he'll fly around. So be patient, he will regenerate in the middle, but his health will not regain since you have destroyed all the crystals. That is how he regenerates his health. Now moving on, after you've destroyed or attacked the ender dragon enough, you'll notice that his health will go down rapidly and it will become more harder. The, the more you do it, you'll start firing more ender acid at you along with other things. Now you'll notice that here he's dropping the ender acid. Now ender acid is the new addition like I said before. But as you can see here, I have defeated the ender dragon. Now there is no achievement for doing this on Xbox 360 edition, but we know the retail disc will be coming out very soon so who knows they might be adding more achievements but you'll notice that all the orbs will drop now you notice I have 35 level before I even started collecting any of these you'll notice that a lot did drop in the portal but in total there is around 50 to 80 orbs that will be dropped depending on what level you were on what level you played on but guys that is the tutorial on how to defeat the ender dragon on hard survival TU9 Xbox 360 edition I hope you did enjoy this tutorial guys I am Echo X Soldier I am happy to unite us here and as you can see here once you defeat the ender dragon a whole list of words will come up I will read a few of them to you but it just says I see the player you mean Echo X Soldier yes take care has reached a higher level now um, can read our thoughts that doesn't mean that doesn't matter I think we are part of the game and then it goes on and on and on it goes on for quite a while a while so be sure to read it but guys I am Echo X Soldier this was defeating the Ender Dragon tutorial. If you could please like the video, it took me a while to make, and defe defeating the Ender Dragon on hard in survival is one of the hardest things you'll ever do. But apart from that, guys, peace out, and I hope you all are enjoying TU9.